What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to replicate physics in multiplayer. It's going to be a very easy to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprint, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so first of all, I'm gonna go to the content browser, right click and create a new blueprint class, and I'm gonna be creating an example physics actor to showcase this. So let me create an actor, name it BP underscore physics, and open this up. So I'm gonna be adding a new component, in this case, a static mesh, and this static mesh is gonna be a simple cube, again, just for the example of this video, you would obviously select whatever you want to have physics on, right? Now, there's this really cool cube that comes in with a historic content or with a third person template. So, you're gonna select this. And one thing that I always like to recommend to do when dealing with physics actor and replication and things like that is just to get the uh, static mesh that will have physics and put it as the root, okay? It's just gonna make it easier for Unreal. Now, with that said, we also want to enable, obviously, simulate physics, so the actor will have physics. Now, if I go ahead and drag this to the world and make sure that I have two players and the net mode is either listen client or as client, I can now press play and two windows will open. Okay, so essentially, one uh, viewport is the server, which is the big one, and this little one is the client. Okay, so if I go here and start to push, you will see, oh, well, the, the physics is automatically replicated. Well, not. Nah, if I start to kind of mess with it, you will see in a second that they will become unsynced. Okay, so I just have to play a bit, but you can see already that there's a bit off and there's some jitteriness because the server is trying to correct. But if I do things, okay, there we go. You can see that the cube is not in the same position, right? In the client is here, in the server it's like over here. So, Everything is just broken. So how can we fix this? Well, with Unreal Engine, it is super easy. The only thing we need to do is go up into the um, actor, go to class defaults and search for replicates, okay? So we wanna enable replicates so the whole actor is replicated in the network and also on top of that, replicate the movement itself. If we now compile and save and press play and expand this, you will see that the cube will always be where it is. It doesn't matter if I try to, you know, unbug it or whatever I want, it will always be there and it will always correct the player. Now you experience maybe some jitteriness, that's because the server will have authority over the client and maybe the client has a bit of lag because the client, uh, sorry, the server, as you can see, also controls the physics and everything. So there's a plugin to smooth things out. Um, so I'll, you know, let me know in the comments when I see that. Um, but that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like being subscribed to my channel. Join my real club if you're serious about learning on Gen 5. Now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.